happy between Christmas and New Year. Um, eating an apple with chocolate peanut butter on it. Um, so for me today is the 27th of December. I haven't done a video in a while because I was out of town and I didn't take my computer with me. But, um, sorry, not supposed to lick my fingers, right? Um, um, Baker and I went to California to visit my mommy and my daddy right before Christmas, not on actual Christmas, but the week before Christmas. And, um, you know, a lot of fun. It went really well. I just wish we had been there longer, that's all. Um, on the first day, we went to Disneyland with my daddy. It was a really good way for us to all spend the day together, the whole day together. Um, we didn't get to do all the things that I wanted to do, but we had fun the whole time. Um, so... Disneyland and went to the beach a few times, had fun feeding the seagulls accidentally and on purpose, and um, watched the boat parade, boat light parade, like the boats that decorate their, um, their boats, the people that decorate their boats with a bunch of Christmas lights and Christmas decorations, and then they parade them around the bay. Um, and then we went to Balboa Island and got chocolate-covered frozen bananas with sprinkles and nuts and toffee and cookie crumbs and all that fun stuff on it. And um, our flights went well. We were supposed to return here at midnight. We were supposed to land at midnight. But... Um, we got switched to an earlier flight, so we got here at like 11 instead. So it was, I think that one hour makes a difference. Maybe, I mean, at, at least mentally, it's like nice to not arrive somewhere at midnight, I think. Um, and then Christmas was really good. I had two Christmases, two Christmases here. Um, my friend Fanny and Michael invited us over to their place for Christmas dinner and we had um, what people from Quebec have for Christmas dinner which was um, meat pie really yummy ooh the crust and the meat inside everything was so good I think she said it had three different kinds of meat in it it was like veal and something and something and it was seasoned really well and um, the crust was like flaky buttery perfect. They thought it was too juicy, but I thought it was fine. I, I think the, um, I think they were worried that the, it, the crust was going to get soggy or something, but it seemed fine to me. Um, and we watched The Grinch, the Jim Carrey version, which I hadn't seen before, and I really liked it. I want to watch it again. And, um, we played, uh, Cards Against Humanity, with, uh, so Fanny was there, Michael was there, of course, and, uh, Fanny's mom, and Missy, and Baker, and me. So, six of us had a good Christmas, I guess, in Quebec. They have a tradition of staying up until midnight, like midnight between the 24th and the 25th is a special time. So, we had dinner, played it. Cards Against Humanity and watched the Grinch movie and we set an alarm for like 11.59 so that we could celebrate midnight. Um, and then after that, we came home and um, my roommates were up and we, um, we did presents. We did presents right around like 2 o'clock in the morning. So we were up for quite a while. 24th was a late night. Um, we got some really cool stuff, super excited about. Um, 
I wish I had it all in front of me, but I'll show you the one thing that I do have in front of me. Um, Jax's boyfriend got me this. It's an ohm sign. I'm trying to hold it perfectly, but it's I'm mirror imaged, so I don't. You know what this is? It's an ohm sign. Um, I hope I'm not wrong. I hope it's not like a three ohm sign or a something else sign, but anyway, it's really pretty. And uh, at one point when we when I was opening presents, I turned to Baker and I was like, "I'm getting dancer yogi presents." It was so cool. Like, uh, my roommate Sarah got me this beautiful thing to go on my hand. It's like um, a ring that connects to a bracelet, and it's got beads between the ring and the bracelet really big beads and chains and so it's like it's like a not a ring not a bracelet but it's like a jewelry for my hand decoration for my whole hand so that was really cool um and uh um here's another one of the presents that i have in front of me this is a bracelet it's a bracelet that my mommy got me um, it says family on it, and it has a tree on it, so it's great. And, um, 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 oh, so there's a gift that I got myself that I'm super happy with. It's, um, you know, I've been wanting to belly dance a lot, and I've been going to a local... A, a class here in town, a belly dance class in the style that I like. <clears throat> um, but it's only Thursdays at a certain time and it's kind of expensive and I really want to practice at home. And um, so I got myself Zoe Jake's DVD tutorial set. It's a set of four DVDs. And Zoe Jakes is the dancer from Beats Antique, which I got to see live on November 1st and loved. It was an awesome show. A really, really amazing show. Beats Antique it wasn't just a concert. It was full on like circus dance concert. And um, a lot of belly dance, a lot, a lot of belly dance in her own tribal fusion. Um, so now I have four of her DVDs, and I've been doing them, practicing them. Um, I've, I've gone through the first CD, first DVD and half of the second DVD. And um, it's kind of, um, I can do it at home by myself. I just need a mirror. But the mirror I have is one of those skinny mirrors. Like, it's, it's a pretty long one, but it's just... The, the personal size, like the door size, and um, luckily I work at a dance studio and I have access to it whenever I want, as long as there's nothing else happening. So yesterday I took my laptop and my DVDs and my yoga mat and I went to the studio and I warmed up with some yoga. And then I turned on the DVD, and it was great because I had a huge, huge, huge room with a huge, huge, huge mirror. And so I got to do the traveling steps that I can't really do in my room, and I got to do the turns that I don't really, that are harder to do on carpet. And, um, yeah, so that was, that was really nice. And then since I was at the studio, I ended up doing work around the studio like I took a mailbox down that we never use and I touched up the paint and I um, uh, made things a little bit neater in the back room the storage room and things like that so super productive and uh, I'm I want to do that like a couple times a week like go in do some yoga dance and then stay and do some work I think that's a really good habit to have. And right now I'm um, I'm really spoiled since my main job 
is uh, teaching at a university, I can have, or I have winter break and spring break and summer break. And right now it's winter break, so I have a couple weeks where my responsibilities are like, eh, <laughs> that's small. So I'm knocking off a lot of stuff off my to-do list. Like I, I had a hole in my jacket and I just mended it. I just sewed it up and, um, what else? Oh, I had some, um, window marker paint on my back car window. And, um, so I scraped the rest of that off, um, so that once it stops raining, I can use that same window marker to put something new on it. It's going to say, Bernie, it's going to say Bernie with a big heart around it. Cause I love Bernie and I want Bernie to be our next president because he's awesome and he's going to do stuff about climate change and he doesn't care about money above all else um like some people Trump. <coughs> Trump. uh yeah so i love bernie and i want bernie to win and i want everyone to vote for him please vote vote for bernie uh so that's what my car is going to say mm. and um Yeah, like vacuumed my room, cleaned my room, um, um, yeah, I feel like I've been, after that vacation and after Christmas, I was like, oh my god, I haven't done anything, I need to do work, I need to do work, so I'm, I'm like super being productive, yesterday and today at least, and um, especially since it's about to be New Year's, so I'm about to have another little break of from productivity um for new year's uh it's baker's friends baker's best friend's birthday on the 30th and so last year they celebrated by going down to portland there was like um like a concert not a concert a music festival a music festival at an art museum in portland and so we're gonna do that again well, I didn't go last year, but they're going to do that again. I'm doing that with them for the first time. Um, so we'll be out of town for New Year's. Super excited. It's, um, I saw a video of it. I saw the website for the event, and it looks kind of fancy. I'm going to wear my red dress. Um, but I don't know what else. I feel like people really dress up like they, they like wear costumes, not like Halloween costumes, but like masks and accessories and props and I don't know. So, um, we'll see what I end up doing. Maybe just like really extravagant makeup. Maybe I'll have, oh, I should have Baker do henna all over me. Like, all, well, all over my arms, I guess. Yeah. Uh, maybe glitter in my hair. <laughs> mm. So that's New Year's. It's coming up here real soon. Um, what else? What's been going on? Mm, I've been dancing a lot. I just went to dance class this morning. Mm, not really dance class because I don't get taught by the instructor. It's more like, um, well, it was a five rhythms class. So there's a the teacher who is the DJ and she sort of has a theme for the class and um, she also goes off of the vibe like her her assessment of what we as a collective of dancers need uh, to keep us engaged and um, so uh, five rhythms usually I think there's a couple different ways to to DJ for five rhythms, and it's either a wave, like think of a bell curve, where you start in this like, oh, you're warming up, you're feeling round and flowy, and just dropping into it, stretching out, and 
feeling your body, feeling the floor. And then, um, so that's the, the upward slope and then, and then, and then energy and up at the top is like the jumping around and shaking and, um, that kind of stuff. And then you come back down to where we started to cool down. So that's the format of a five rhythms wave. Um, when there are five rhythms. I made it seem like there's two, like low and high and then low again, but that's not what it is. Um, so yeah, I've been dancing a lot because, oh, that's, that's what I was trying to say is that I have winter break. So, um, so I've been having a lot of free time and, um, a lot of motivation to do the things that I've been wanting to do, but haven't really made myself. Um, I should stop licking my fingers. I'm sorry. I wish I had a napkin. Uh, I'll wipe it off my legs. Um, and, uh, oh, also I have a lot of time because, I, as you know, I no longer teach my dance class. Um, I stopped teaching dance class so that I could spend more time learning dance and, uh, particularly belly dance. So I've gone to that belly dance class a couple times. I've been doing belly dance at home. I've been doing yoga at home. And, uh, and, um, I went to a contact improv class, which was a lot of fun. Contact improv is all about, um, sharing your, well, making contact with someone at the, at any point, really. You could be making contact at the head or the back or the wrist or the palm or the elbow or the knee or the foot. Um, uh, so I went to that class. That was fun. Um, I, I just, <clears throat> I love, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to categorize dance into two forms. The form where there aren't really steps, there isn't really choreography, um, where it's just very intuitive and very, um, like anything goes, it's just free play. It's just, that's what it feels like is just play. Like if I want to make this face on the dance floor and buzz like a bee, like I can do that. <laughs> and, um... Uh, and then the other category that I'm making is the, um, copy me, do this like this, um, where there are steps, there is an order, there is a distinct way of doing it, um, that should be followed, um, in order to make the steps that come after that progress, um, easy. Um, so I've been doing both dancing and, uh, I've been, um, like I said, practicing more yoga. Anyway, I, I feel like I've said the same thing a few times, but I'm just so happy. <laughs> I'm just so happy that I've gotten to spend more time dancing and doing yoga. And, um, I remembered today because I got a catalog in the mail that I uh, will, I will, um, contact other schools in the area and, uh, ask them to put me on their waiting list, basically, of, of yoga instructors, um, to, to interview, um, because teaching yoga, there's kind of a high turnover sometimes, um, especially in a school setting where there's semesters and quarters, and so a teacher may be there for one or two quarters or two or three years, but usually schools have more than one instructor, so usually, I mean, you, I'm, I feel like there's, there's a need for one new yoga instructor per year at least. I mean, I've been teaching at, my, at the university where I'm at for five quarters now, and there's, um, 
at least at least two instructors came in after me. Um, there's like four or five of us teaching at any time because there's that much demand for yoga, ah, which I love because yoga teaches me so much. I, um, I'm really tuning into how things feel. Um, it's, it hasn't, I feel like my whole life I've trained myself to not really pay attention to what I want because I knew what I was supposed to be doing. So, <clears throat> like, feeling kind of like it doesn't, I don't need to figure out what I want because I know what I'm doing. And since graduating college where I have this, like, infinite freedom, I'm just like, ah, I don't know what I want. I don't know what I'm doing. What am I, what? And, um, so all the different embodiment practices, like the five rhythms dance and the open floor dance and the yoga have really helped me tune into, like, Ooh, this, I, mm, no, mm, or, yeah, 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 more of that, more of that, more, 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 that, yeah. And, um, so I just love that there's so much demand for yoga, especially among students who are, um, excelling in their fields of engineering and philosophy and environmental sciences and, um, just, students who have and are going to have more power and influence on the world. Um, I'm glad that I'm getting to share yoga with them and uh, be impressed by how much uh, they like it and how much they pick up on it. And um, even if it doesn't, even if the influence my class makes on them isn't clear at the moment, I believe in seeds being planted, and I think that yoga is planting a seed that grows, whether you know it or not, whether you acknowledge it or not. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to try to teach at other schools. There's one or two other schools in town that I have in mind, because um, I have a lot of time, uh, especially now that I'm not teaching my own class. I, I have time for another job and I welcome the income and benefits of another job. So, um, I'm going to look into that, uh, teaching more. Yeah. Uh, feel bad that I've talked so much about yoga and dance. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, what do you want to talk to me about, huh? Okay, well, uh, I'll talk to you next year, if not before then. Thanks for listening. I love you. Bye. Happy New Year. <laughs>